So example one, transferring the root function. Given the graph of y equals the square root of x, we're going to use the transformations to graph the following. So here is our, our graph. This is our standard graph here. Okay. So in part a represents our graph y is equal to the square root of x. So our first graph tells us that we want to subtract 2. And if we subtract 2, that means we're shifting down 2 units. So that means we're shifting this graph here down two units. Okay, next, if we take, if we get y is equal to the square root of x minus two, that means we need to take x minus two, set it equal to zero, and therefore x is equal to two. That means we're shifting two units to the right. So that means we have our graph and now that's shifting two units to the right. The next function is y is equal to the negative times the square root of x. So that means that it's now going to be shifted here. So therefore, it's reflecting about the x-axis. The next one is y is equal to 2 times the square root of x. So that means that we're stretching it vertically by a factor of 2. So we are stretching vertically by a factor of 2. And the last one is y, which is equal to the square root of negative times x. So what that means is that we're reflecting it about the y-axis. So reflecting about the y-axis will go in that direction. So we are reflecting about the y-axis.